Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Lead 2 Predictions. A few results going not quite to plan, um, that's for certain, and I'll speak more about these results as I get down to their fixtures. But anyway guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game I'm going to talk about is Grimsby vs Scunthorpe. Um, Grinsby 0-0 away to Carlisle. Great point for Grinsby. Um, Scunthorpe on the other hand, 2-2 at home to Colchester. Great point for Scunthorpe. Um, Scunthorpe are currently sitting in 13th place with 25 points. Um, you know, 10 points clear of Morecambe. Um, this league is very tight indeed. And it's only going to get tighter. Um, Grinsby on the other hand. 20th. Yet yeah, just. What? Six points out the drop zone. I think only one team goes down. Um, in this division. Because of what's happened to Bury in League 1. So. Um, this game's going to be interesting. For a matter of reasons. But I'm going to go for a 2-1. Scum for win. My next one is Bradford versus Salford City. Um, Salford lose a 1-0 at home to Exeter. No big, big, big deal there. Um, you know, but Bradford 0-0 uh, away to Lake Norman. Disappointing day for Bradford. Um, but on the other side of that, great point for Lake Norman. Um, but your, you look at that Salford City result. Um, as I said, there's no big deal in that. I mean, Exeter are doing ever so well in second with 39 points. Um, and I think Salford just trying to find their feet in Leeds, but not doing too badly. 14 with 25 points. Um, you know, so not doing too badly overall. Um, this game's going to be interesting for a matter of reasons. You've got Bradford in the top five. Um, and you know, not drawing points with the top three. And um, how can I actually see this game going? It's a you know, bit of a different story, but I'm going to go for a 2 1 Bradford City win. My next one is Cambridge versus Late Norian. Cambridge 1 1 away to. Cheltenham Town. Late Norian, 0 0 at home to Bradford. As I said, great point for Late Norian. Um, Cambridge, 1 1 against Cheltenham, probably expected. Um, you know, it ain't even a bad point for Cambridge in 11th, who are currently on 28 points. Um, you know, getting a point off Cheltenham, who are currently in third with 35 points. And that's away from home. So I think Cambridge are a real, a real deal this season, along with a couple of other teams. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-0 Cambridge win. My next one is Colchester versus Carlisle. Um... Colchester, 2-2 away to Scunthorpe. Carlisle, 0-0 at home to Grimsby. Um, yeah, probably nothing to really shout on both of them results. Um, Colchester are 9th with 31 points. Carlisle, 21st with 21 points. I'm going to give this one to Colchester. I'm going to call it a scrappy game and a 1-0 Colchester win. My next one is Exeter versus Walsall. Exeter 1-0 winners away to Salford City. Walsall 1-1 at home to Macclesfield. Um... I think I actually called that Walsall game dead on as well. Um, but, you know, could possibly be a bit of a disappointing day for Walsall. Um, very much table 
um, position changing game there and Wolves didn't take advantage of it. So, you know, it's going to be sort of an interesting game going forward, but I'm going to go for a 3 1 Exeter City win. My next one is Forest Green versus Swindon Town. Swindon Town winning 2 0 at home to Oldermouth Athletic. Forest Green losing 1 0 away from home to Northampton Town. Disappointing though for Forest Green. Um, watching the scores on Saturday, which what I do sometimes if I don't go to a game, um, and I was actually like thinking Forest Green games you need to sort of win if you're going to go up automatically. No disrespect to Northampton Town who are comfortably sitting in seventh by two points. Um, the team behind them is Plymouth in eighth with 32 points, so two points a gap. But that could be a fight of three points for Northampton Town, um, you know, come the end of the season. Um, but Forest Green, disappointing days. Swindon Town, good three points um, for Swindon Town there. Um, so this week it's first. First is Seth. And I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Macclesfield versus Plymouth Argyle. Macclesfield 1-1 one, one away to Walsall. Um, Plymouth Argyle 3-0 winners at home to Morecambe. Um, now we all know the problems that Macclesfield could be facing. Um, Plymouth sitting in 8th. And wanting to keep the pressure on Northampton Town, uh, I think I think it's going to be a bit of a dodgy game. But I'm going to go for a two-two scoreline for that one. My next one is Mansfield versus Northampton Town. Um, Northampton Town beating uh, Forest Green Rovers one 0 at home. Great three points for Northampton Town, as I've already mentioned. Macclesfield, uh, Mansfield, sorry, 1-1 one, one away to Crew Alexander. Um, this game, I think it's going to be a bit one-sided. Which one going to go for a 3-0 Northampton Town win. My next one is Morecambe versus Newport County. Um, Newport County 1-1 one, one at home to Stevenage. Morecambe loses 3 0 away to Plymouth for a goal. Um, I'm just going to give you the result over for this one. Um, Newport in 12th. Um, more could down in the bottom, which one I'll go for a 2 0 Newport whip. My next one is Older Mouth Athletic versus Crawley. Um, Crawley 0 0 at home to Port Vale. Disappointing day for Crawley. Um, Oldham leaves a 2 0 away from home to Swindon Town. Um, Crawley are currently sitting in 16th, um, and Oldham are currently in 22nd, which one will go for a one all scoreline for that one, just that home tie um, for Oldham, I reckon I'll get a point out of that one. My next one is Port Vale versus Cheltenham Town. Um, Chatham Town 1-1 one, one, um, at home to Cambridge. Um, great point for Ch Chatham, probably not. Um, it's probably expecting all three points from them, if I'm all honest. Port Vale 0-0 nil, nil, away to Crawley Town. Um, this game, I think it's going to be a bit more one-sided. Um, where are Port Vale in 10th? 29, Cheltenham, 
Chatham's had three draws on the bounce as well, so I'm going to put him down for another draw, and I'm going to go for a one-all scoreline for that one as well. My last one for this weekend is Stephen Lynch versus Crew Alexander. Um, Steve Lynch won one away to Newport. Crew Alexander won one at home to Mansfield. Um, Steve Lynch currently sitting in 23rd with 16 points. Um, Crew Alexander fourth with 35 points. And yet within that bracket of that aut automatic promotion places. Um, but as far as this one goes, I'll go for a 2-0 Crew Alexander win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a video. Big fat hold on. You enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.